Welcome to Anime Lore Unveiled. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with our latest videos. Today we're diving into the thrilling and dangerous world of solo leveling. Picture a world just like ours, but with one major difference. One day, without warning, gates to other dimensions began to open. These were not gates to paradise, but portals to realms of nightmares. From these gates, monstrous creatures poured out their sole purpose to wreak havoc and destruction. Society was plunged into chaos. Our once peaceful world was now a battlefield, an ever-shifting landscape of terror and uncertainty. The dawn of the gates marked the dawn of chaos. But in the face of this new threat, a new breed of warriors emerged. Individuals with extraordinary abilities rose to meet the challenge. They are known as hunters, but among these hunters, there is a vast difference in power. Some are veritable gods, while others are mere mortals struggling to survive. And at the bottom of this hierarchy, we find our protagonist, Sung Jin Wu, the weakest of all hunters. But remember, even in the darkest hour, there is always a glimmer of hope. The story of solo leveling is a testament to that hope. So buckle up because we're about to embark on an epic journey through a world on the brink. Stay tuned. Imagine a world where gates to other dimensions open at random, spilling out monstrous creatures that wreak havoc and destruction. Welcome to the world of solo leveling, a place where every day is a roll of the dice, a world teetering on the precipice of chaos. In this world, the gates are an unpredictable and persistent threat. They appear out of nowhere and lead to other dimensions filled with creatures that are anything but friendly. These creatures, these beasts, they're not just your run-of-the-mill monsters. They're beings of unparalleled power and ferocity with a single-minded purpose to spread destruction. Not all hope is lost, though. To counter this threat, humanity has its own line of defense. Hunters. These are individuals blessed or perhaps cursed with extraordinary abilities. They are humanity's only hope against the onslaught of the gates. They delve into the unknown, risking their lives in battles against the monstrous creatures that emerge from these gates. And while some hunters are formidable, others, not so much. In the hierarchy of power that exists among these hunters, there are those who stand tall, and those who barely scrape by. The world of solo leveling is a place where your strength determines your worth, where the strong thrive, and the weak struggle to survive. This world is a stage set for epic tales of triumph and devastation, of courage and fear, of life and death. It's a world that's unpredictable, dangerous, exhilarating and terrifying all at the same time. In this world, we meet our protagonist, Song Jin Wu, the weakest of all hunters. But as we will soon discover, even the weakest can become the strongest, and even a world on the brink can be saved or destroyed. Sung Jin Wu, a man constantly on the brink of death, yet refusing to back down. Our protagonist started as a mere weakling, a man who was always at the mercy of his circumstances. In the world of solo leveling, where hunters are ranked based on their power and ability to slay monstrous creatures, Sung Jin Wu was at the bottom rung of the ladder. He was known as the weakest of all hunters. He was frail, had no special abilities, and was constantly in danger of losing his life. But even in the face of such adversities, one thing that stood out about Sung Jin Wu was his indomitable spirit. He refused to accept his fate as a weakling, and instead chose to embrace the struggle. There were numerous incidents where Sung Jin Wu found himself on the edge of death. One such instance was during a double dungeon raid. Trapped, outnumbered and overpowered by terrifying monsters, Jin Wu was at the brink of his end. But even in such dire straits, he didn't give up. He fought with every ounce of his strength, every bit of his will. He chose to fight, not because he was strong, but because he had the determination to survive. His struggles were not in vain. Every battle, every near-death experience was a stepping stone, shaping him, molding him into something more. He was like a piece of iron, constantly hammered and forged in the fires of adversity. It was this relentless pursuit of survival that eventually led to his awakening, a turning point that would forever change his destiny. His story is a testament to the human spirit's resilience. It's a journey of transformation, from being the weakest to becoming the strongest. 
It's about how even in the face of overwhelming odds, one can rise above their circumstances through sheer determination and will. But fate had a different plan for Sung Jin Woo, a plan that would change everything. From the ashes of the weak rises a god, Sung Jin Woo. This isn't just a story about a man becoming a monster, it's about a man becoming a god. Sung Jin Woo's transformation is nothing short of divine, a metamorphosis that has seen him evolve from the weakest of hunters to an entity so powerful it defies comprehension. His journey to godhood wasn't an overnight occurrence. It was a grueling process marked by trials and tribulations that would have broken a lesser man. But Sung Jin Woo is no ordinary man. With each challenge he grew stronger, his resolve hardened, and his powers magnified. The weakling who once struggled to survive even the most basic dungeons was now a godlike being, capable of toppling the most terrifying monsters with ease. What sets Sung Jin Woo apart is his relentless pursuit of power. It's a hunger that's never sated, a thirst that's never quenched. Each battle is an opportunity for growth. Each victory a step towards becoming the ultimate hunter. His powers, once negligible, have now reached a level where they can only be described as godlike. The battles he fights are awe-inspiring. The kind of battles that become legends. He doesn't just defeat his enemies, he annihilates them, leaving nothing but destruction in his wake. His strength is so vast, so overpowering, that it's impossible for anyone to stand against him. He's not just a hunter anymore. He's a god, a force to be reckoned with. Yet despite his immense power, Sung Jin Wu remains a paradox. He's a god who walks amongst men, a hunter who has become the hunted, a weakling who has become the strongest. His story is a testament to the indomitable spirit of man, a reminder that even in the face of insurmountable odds we can rise, we can evolve, we can become more than what we are. With his newfound powers, Sung Jin Wu was no longer a mere hunter, he was a force of nature. His rise to power has been nothing short of meteoric, a testament to his unyielding spirit and relentless pursuit of power. He's not just a character in a story, he's a god, a legend, a force of nature, and his reign is just beginning. With power comes destruction, and Sung Jin Wu was no exception. This is a tale as old as time itself, but never has it been told with such intensity and grandeur as in the world of solo leveling. As Sung Jin Wu ascended from the weakest hunter to a figure of godlike prowess, the world around him quaked in the wake of his power. Imagine, if you will, a force so unstoppable, so unimaginably powerful, that it reshapes the very fabric of reality. This is the kind of might that Sung Jin Wu wields. He doesn't just defeat his enemies, he obliterates them. He doesn't just change the game, he reinvents it. His rise to power isn't just a progression, it's a revolution. Take the battle against the Ant King, for example. This monster was considered a calamity, a disaster waiting to happen. Yet in the face of Sung Jin Wu's power, it was reduced to nothing more than a stepping stone on his path to greatness. The destruction left in Sung Jin Wu's wake is not just physical. It's a psychological terror that grips the hearts of those who dare to stand against him. His power is so immense, so overwhelming, that it shatters the very concept of hierarchy in the world of hunters. No longer are the strong revered and the weak disregarded. Now there is only Sung Jin Wu and those who tremble in his shadow. But destruction is not always a negative force. In the crucible of Sung Jin Wu's reign of destruction, a new world is forged. A world where the weak can dream of becoming strong, where the oppressed can hope for freedom. Sung Jin Wu's power tears down the old world but from its ashes rises a new order, a new hope. In the end, what truly sets Sung Jin Wu apart is not his destructive power, but the purpose behind it. His reign of destruction is not a mindless rampage, but a calculated path towards a better world. A world that, though shaken to its core by his power, ultimately emerges stronger and more resilient. In the face of Sung Jin Wu's power, no creature could stand. Yet, in the wake of his destruction, a new world stands tall, a world reshaped by the hands of a god, a world ready to face whatever challenges may come. Sung Jin Wu, an unstoppable force, a god among men. Imagine, if you will, a man who has transcended the very limits of human potential.
a man who has left the realm of mortality and entered the pantheon of divinity. That man is Sung Jin Wu, the protagonist of our epic tale, Solo Leveling. From a weakling struggling against insurmountable odds, he has risen to become an unstoppable force, a god among men. His journey, fraught with danger and adversity, has seen him transform from a negligible hunter to the world's strongest. Sung Jin Wu's power is awe-inspiring. It's not just his strength, speed, or unparalleled combat skills. It's his indomitable will, his relentless pursuit of power, and his unyielding determination to defy the odds. It's the fear he instills in the hearts of both monsters and humans alike. It's the awe he commands from those who witness his might. His status as the strongest hunter is undisputed. Monsters tremble at his approach and humans bow before his immense power. He is a force of nature, a tornado of destruction that leaves devastation in its wake and commands respect from all who dare to cross his path. The world of solo leveling has been forever altered by Sung Jin Wu's rise to power. His influence is far-reaching, his power undeniable. He has become a beacon of hope for some, a symbol of fear for others, and a source of awe for all. His journey is a testament to the indomitable spirit of mankind, to the power of determination and to the sheer force of will. It's a story of transformation of a man who dared to defy the odds and became a god. In the end, Sung Jin Wu is more than just a character in a web novel. He is a symbol of power, a beacon of determination, and a testament to the human spirit's ability to overcome. In the world of solo leveling, one man stands above all, Sung Jin Wu, the god who kills all. Before we venture further into the world of solo leveling, we need you, our loyal viewers, to become a part of our journey. Just as Sung Jin Wu stands as a beacon of hope and determination in the face of adversity, we stand committed to bringing you more thrilling content. But we can't do it alone. We need you to become our allies, our comrades in arms. So what can you do? It's simple. Subscribe to our channel. Smash that like button, just as Sung Jin Wu smashes his enemies. Leave a comment and share your thoughts. Your opinion matters to us. Your support fuels our passion for creating content that keeps you at the edge of your seat. So join us in our quest. Be part of our journey. Let's explore the world of solo leveling together. Let's uncover the secrets, delve into the lore, and experience the thrill of the adventure. Remember, your support helps us create more content like this. So stay tuned for more Anime Lore Unveiled.